Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, clearly, like, those could be open somehow. There's nothing in here. Okay. Go, go back to the, uh, upper, uh, the officer quarters. Yeah, I'm in the officer's quarters. Go to, uh, J. Dezeal. Like, we saw that, that, uh... Yeah, that, there was... That, that dude's... That. Yeah. You gotta get in there. That's the one you can sneak into by a neighboring, uh... By a neighboring, uh... Okay, well, the room. lounge is over here. Is it the lounge, or is it... Is this where you can sneak? Maybe this is where it is. <coughs> or you just gotta move that, uh, stuff. Here we go. There we go. Ha! I, I knew I remembered this. I just only have, like, vague memories of it. Oh, that guy's pretty fucked up. And now look around. Functional You'll fuel. find some cool stuff. There is report. I don't think this is what we need, but it's good backstory. So this is May. Mapping the Roman tunnels. Strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. That's 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 a standing in a sign. vast plain it, it, of darkness. I don't care what war is going on, if glowing stuff is seeping oh. from the walls, that needs to be a priority. <laughs> that needs to be an A priority. Okay. I actually know what's going on here. Uh oh. Um, Josh Josh knows the cannon. Yeah. So there are areas where Oh hello. Oh, how I can't pay for these things. Our hip pouches. Like, if you're on board in a frictional game as a writer, Stop how going around? How deep do you think the lore bible goes? Like, how many pages of amnesia lore do you think there is? Probably quite a bit at this point. Oh, hey, we found All another right. bullet. We we still don't have two uh, bullets. What we need. Uh, try turning the. Uh... Two there we go. one two two. And do you know what that is? Nope. Do you want me to tell you what that is? Maybe. Uh, I would recommend going back to the storage facility that has everybody's lockers. The storage facility that ever that has everybody's lockers. What do you... I believe it's across the hall here, but I might be wrong. Uh, what did that? S Where's the? What's to your left? That's strategic operations. This is a light switch that doesn't work because there's no fuel right now. Uh, the generator's turned off. This is the lounge. I don't remember there that, being is that, Wait, wait, no, no, go back, go back, go back. That room, that room. I think it's that room. Okay, well, hang on a second. Let me get my flashlight going again here. I like that you go to rooms that have holes where the monster can crawl out of. Actually, I don't think there is one in this room. <laughs> yeah, the designated monster access. The monster egresses for all of these areas. If it's not in here, then it's the, uh... Okay, it's not in this one. It's it's the one See, that's France. across the hall from... Right there. Right there, Chris. It's, I get it. I get it. I'm dumb. I get that I'm dumb. <laughs> I I really thought this was a German bunker. I, I misconstrued what happened at the end. You get shot a bunch of times while the Germans are shooting at you, and then everything goes black. I thought I thought you got captured. That's, That's what the beginning of the game is. I, I um, you know I actually don't blame you at all for that. Like I I, I was kind of wondering about that. I, I only inferred that like it was French for like a, a couple little details, but yeah. Um. Okay. I think it's the storage facility, Josh, and that's across the, across from where the um where you grab the circle. Uh, yeah, see, right. it's highlighted okay. now. Okay, yeah. right, yeah. Um, let's fuel up the generator and turn that back on. I am kind of tickled by the idea that you would have amnesia and you'd be like, where am I? And you would just turn around and there's a trick color on the wall. I mean, like, this... oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're, where am I? Am I in a German bunker? And all your French compatriots are like, no, no, monsieur, stop, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> No, I clearly am in a German bunker because the last thing I remember is German shooting at me. You're all frauds trying to get me to confess something. I hate that backpack. Or coat, whatever. So you hate you know what, what I mean. backpack? Coat? The, that, that coat. The German, the mad scientist coat. Oh. 
Uh, yeah, in there. You gotta use the, uh, well, the, the, the grate. We, we can't get through. Th oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> it just comes right off. <laughs> it's, it's one of those uh, It wasn't tangible. even really on there. And now we get to find Gazelle's, uh, locker. Noise, is dangerous. Noise is dangerous. Considered not doing it. I. So do we do we want to like test my theory that this is a continuation no, of frictional like, stated game ethos and just like time, but start starting up the one man band course. just like. No worries. I've definitely encountered the monster in this game before. The last you you, time you can't absolutely trigger it by playing by making yeah. noise. Oh, I'm not suggesting that you can't laughing, trigger the monster. Drinking, I'm suggesting that there might actually be kind of like an interval of how often the monster will come. It's more or less it? That's just Oh, it is. Yeah, because it's again, it's AI driven, like the Yet alien isolation laugh, monster. Drink, argue. These AI driven. God okay, if anybody's like missing what the joke is here, if they describe the monster as AI driven, which like in this the video game sense, yes, of course it's AI driven. All monsters in video games that aren't played by players are AI driven in the video game sense. They just said AI driven because right now AI is a really hot buzzword in text circles and it makes it sound like something really really interesting is happening. Why was that photo on this guy's locker? Uh, it might imply that there's a hammer that helps to get rid of those two, things. One, two, two. Aha! Hooray! Alright, uh, we have Zavil. this guy was, oh boy. um, brochure. There we go. Yeah, good shit. That was 7557, right? Got any smokes? Um, nah, he's got a bag. He's got a backpack, which is still useful. I did have anything cool. At least have it like a change of clothes or something. Ah, grenade. Cosmetics you can unlock in this game. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I feel I, like we're. I remember something. I, I feel like Unreal is strictly suit and tie motherfucker, personally. <laughs> I remember something that pissed me off in this game. Um, I was in that that wine cellar and I was like, oh, okay. Clearly, I have to find a way to get this grade off, and I threw one of those grenades. You know, very valuable resource because we'd already seen grenades, you know, explode and cause stuff like that, and uh, didn't didn't do anything at all. And I was like really pissed off. <laughs> Is it smart like for the us idea. to be unlocking and opening every door in this bunker? Maybe not. Sure. I like the idea of carrying around a bunch of utility frag grenades. Like, I might need this grenade for a practical problem solving purpose. I am amazed we have not encountered the monster once. Like, this is. Uh, I definitely heard it. It's an unusual playthrough because I have. I mean, I guess we've also been a little bit more directed. We haven't been fumbling around in the dark the way that I think real yeah. players would. But real players. Well, I mean, I looked. I we looked up how to solve that puzzle. Yeah, we have not been particularly cautious about making noise. What a shock! Who could have imagined that me, I, could be cavalier about noise? Good. I don't even know if that was scripted. I think it was made by the bomb. Yeah. Uh, still got this. All right. Okay, prison communications. Should we go to the communications room? Why not? This is officially after I stopped playing, so I don't know how. what's beyond this. I got the wheel, and then I forgot. I, I stopped playing, unfortunately. Ugh. I will say, I did encounter the monster while doing that, though, so... Can you drop stuff? Okay. 
Well, actually, in that case, let's let's drop some fuel. Let's drop a fuel here, so we can pick it up on our way back out. What is our time? Like, how much longer do we We're have? We're at this about episode? an hour, but we can't just. Oh, hello. We gotta see just, the like, monster. Can't you wanna just you wanna just like let one fly and see if it see if it freaks them out? We only have two. Well, that leaves us another one. <laughs> just don't miss. One bullet to alert the monster, and then one bullet to immediately commit suicide when the monster shows up. How, how many bullets does it take to send the monster home? We also have three grenades, Josh. We only have two. It's three because it's... Oh, no, we only have one. What? Oh, it's, oh, it's bound to three, I see. Because it's cause bound to the number three. Yeah. That's so goddamn confusing. I'm sorry. Yes. Daisy chain. Shut off power in one section in the chain and the subsequent areas will go off as well. Okay. Neat. All the doors are closed. Hello. So for the record... Oh, wow. That was a, That is dangerous. Don't trigger that. Um... For, for the record, this is supposed to be, like, an hour into the game, and, well, I guess we are an hour into the game, but, I don't know, it, it, I, I don't know how to describe how we're doing a bad Hello. job of conveying how scary the game can be, because the, the monster usually does start chasing you by now. Well, it's because you're usually scared of it, that's why, like, I, I, like I said, like, you know, Frickshield does a really good job at convincing you to be immersed in that horror ethos and meeting you where you're at. Like, they can just tell it, you, it, like, if you're paying attention, they can just tell you the monster is scary and you'll buy it. Like, the bigger the lie is, the more you'll believe. So, it's not scary because the three of us are watching it together as opposed to, like, playing well, it alone? Other, that, that's the other part of it, yes. Also, I'm the one playing. Uh, Josh has been He's here. Doing I can this. hear him. Fire All the right, gun! Come out! Oh, we're cooking with gas. Rev the, rev the thing. Wait a minute. Hey! You like meat? You like especially, meaty meats? Especially <laughs> meat with a going. weird, weird little nubule? Just start lathering up with them. Baby. Meat that's shaped like a heart? Clement? Why did these guys write all of their locker codes down? On that's you, podcasts? you idiot! You wrote it down! Yeah, You're well... You're Clement! <laughs> Where is this motherfucker? Oh, I didn't even see the Meat's thing gone. jumped over. Holy shit. We can't, like... The meat is gone. Oh, it's a rat. Monster, you I big don't think fucking that's the monster. nerd. Did, did the rat take the meat? Maybe the rat How, how hilarious meat. would that be if the rat took the meat? Ah, uh, the big sure. rat that oh, makes there's... all of the rules. Throw a grenade and kill all the rats. If we can't kill... If we can't do a monster ending... We can at least do a big rat explosion. Well, if we throw a grenade, like, maybe, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been talking I don't think to the, the rats about the noise doesn't matter, but, like, well, like, the noise, like, the grenade, is. Like, I guess this is the moment of truth. Is this going to bring the monster or not? No. No, it doesn't? It's going to kill some rats. Okay. Oh, I hear no, I, it. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, yeah. no. oh, it's here. Yeah. There we go, baby. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I did that. No, no, it's, it's oh, oh, hey. Wow. Open that door for us. Thank you. Oh, it ran like a buck. Did it destroy the door? Yeah. It's just obliterated. Oh, that rules. Man, that, that actually. Yeah, all right. That didn't. Well, I mean, is that it? Are we done? I, I don't know. The monster didn't really, like, fight us. It seemed like he was being I helpful. didn't expect it. I just wanted to see it. God, <laughs> we kill We killed a bunch of rats and saw a monster. In my book, that's a win. I, I mean, yeah. Plus, yeah. He opened a door for us. Very kind of the monster. Yeah, I think the monster's a real stand-up guy. Yeah, monsters can help you out, it turns out. What is that? There's music. That? Is that a screwdriver? Oh, but you can't carry it. I, I, I weep a little bit. 
for the developers, because I'm sure that your first encounter with the monster is not supposed oh, to be actually. like that. <laughs> it really was like we threw a grenade, it came out like blarg, we like put one in it, and then it just kind of fucking took shoot off the lock. and shoot opened the lock. a door for us in the process. We still have a bullet, you can shoot the lock. Yeah. Although, I don't know, I actually feel like probably a reasonably high percentage of players do throw a grenade at those rats. I feel like that actually is, like, this is an intended moment for you to face a monster. Like, a, a, a good percentage of playtesters are going to get the monster. I would ball, never right? waste a grenade on on a on four rats I would. like that. You wouldn't. I think 15%, 15 to 40% of playtesters do. I absolutely would. Oh, I thought there was more to this room. <laughs> There's something really funny explosions. about turning on all the lights in the bunker, also. <laughs> you just like. Oh, we blasting, found another bullet! Like blasting the hottest Edwardian jams out of the radio, <laughs> like turning on all the lights, cutting a rug, throwing grenades at yeah. rats. You're having a great time! The, the other thing we really haven't encountered, because we've been very careful about it because we know it's a resource, is like, um. Electricity. We haven't been like exploring an area that's fully lit and then had the power just go boom. Yeah. And like, that's really creepy when you're like thinking you're safe and not paying attention to the time you have left and then suddenly everything goes black and it's like, oh shit. And then you get tripped up by like that trip mine that Josh just jumped over or the monster appears. Like, the game has the ability to be really scary. I think we're just really jaded and know how to play it too well. <laughs> and are looking at I mean, the answers you know, as to where to go next. Into this damn room. Like the magic trick. The magic trick doesn't work if you know it, but I think that's a great trade-off, frankly. And that's not a reason not to have magic magicians out. There's no you way know. to get into the damn room. It's a it's I, a I, room that exists just to make Josh mad. The map's in there. I, one thing I, I maintain a lot as somebody who runs horror games, uh, especially for conventions and whatnot, is I think about horror is that it is, in a way, it is a contract. If you are experiencing horror interactively, you are signing a pact with the creator of that horror me now. Is it that you're going yeah. to play ball. Yeah, I and I, I, you know, that's especially true at a tabletop, but even in a video life. game, like, if you're resolutely, like, not gonna be again. scared by a horror game, it actually has to be kind of aggressive or to really hell unnerve you in any way. You must do and I, I say that, I, I, I don't mean to imply that that's I true go. for everybody. I, I guess what I mean is, like, cooperating with a horror game, in, in a way, being afraid of horror games and giving them, like, is kind of what I'm talking about. That is cooperating with a horror game. Right. If you're not yeah. already scared of horror games, you might be able to be scared by them, but you actually have to, like, engage with them on that level. You can't just, like, be, have an antagonistic relationship towards them. Yeah, if, if you just have an anxiety towards horror games generally, it, that kind of like is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It, like it helps create right. that relationship and gives you a very pure experience with them. Yeah, like if you're if you're just checked out, like you know, I guess there's something funny about playing a a horror game. I mean, I do this, you know, for spoiler warning as a joke about playing a horror game that you're just completely checked out with and don't care about. But like you know, the point is to experience the horror yeah like this is i, I want to very long that, like, journal holy crap i'm not really when we do that. stuff like this and like even when we did it in amnesia one our point is not this game is bullshit our yeah. point like it's just kind of it's interesting to do because this is specifically to pull the sort back of thing the curtain you wouldn't do like yeah. your playthrough right yeah for the record i, I do genuinely enjoy this game to song I, it seems really cool But I, I don't think up? we're giving... Yeah, I think we are, but I just... I don't think we're giving, like, a, a realistic view of what it's like to play this game. I think playing it alone, not knowing what you're doing, it's much creepier than than the guided three people talking over it, the tour that we're giving you. Talking about Tremor. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, I guess just, just whatever you feel like you get to a stop point, Josh. 
Isn't that the bag that... Oh, no, that's a med kit. Well, I mean, that bit where the monster blew everything up would have been a good... Oh, hello, we got a daisy chain diagram here. Oh, I don't even know how to get through that fucking door. Uh, the record that bit where it turns in, there's this door here, but I'm not I'm, sure. I'm waiting for Josh to forget key. one of the trip lines. I, that's gonna happen eventually. I played enough well, Lethal Company with Josh. We have here so far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've stepped on at least as many mines as I have. We have video footage of it. I have video footage of you dying there's spectacularly on a mine. Nothing like coming to a graded door. There's just a key clear to the <laughs> through. You're also probably supposed to be taking time reading all of this, um... This all these stuff. words and stuff. Alright, well, how do we... Which, you know, for, for, the, for a single one-off episode, it's just not within scope. We used our damn grenade. I want to I wanna try something. They had a thing about fuel being flammable, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Josh is trying some. Shit, I can't see it. Hang on. Josh is cooking. Josh is going full in Imsim on this. Yep. No! Did I, we ever talk um, about the time, my first Imsim experience? Like, with the original Dance Eggs? Oh, here we go, I'm sorry. Yes! Oh, yeah, yes! Hey! I expected to be dead, but okay, sure. We, uh, we do have a problem here where we don't have. Oh, hey! That was I triggered one of the chip mines. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. I think we're out of bullets. I think that helps. Yes, we are out of bullets. Still mad that fucking. See, th this is more of what the game is like. Trying something wacky to solve a problem and then getting getting attacked uh -oh. and then trapped by a trip mine. <laughs> this this is come this here, is motherfucker. Anyway, I I enjoy this game. I think it's the exact level of if you like Alien Isolation That's... and you want to do sort of an escape room version of that. It's pretty yeah. great. It's also a, a hell of a lot shorter than fucking Alien Isolation. Oh, I God, that game yes. Is 20 hours long. That game needs to be half as long as it is. I love that oh, game, yeah, but it needs at to be least. half as long as it is. It's four hours before you even run into a Xenomorph. We didn't We didn't play the last Amnesia game on Spoiler Warning, right? We just played one, two. No, no, no. We haven't played Rebirth. Man. Oh, that's great. I like that. That was great. That, that's more of what my experience playing the game has been. It's like, fumbling around in the dark, having a, an adventure like that, being all fucked up and damaged like Josh is now, going back to base, healing, and being like, alright, where did I fuck up and go wrong? And then trying to figure out how to do the next puzzle. Uh, so yeah, that that's more of what I think you would expect in, in this game if you yeah. played it by yourself without a guide. But I, I like it, overall. Yeah. We're wrapping up here, Do right? the rats actually attack you, or...? Uh, I think they, they... They have glowing eyes, and they're all staring at you, and making hostile noises. I need something to throw. Stay right there. Give me a minute. Is it gonna come eat them? That'd be very funny. Anyway, uh, Surely should we Surely there is something to throw. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they've come into the command center. Chair. So, speak, speaking of expectations... Fuck off. So people who've been watching the show know, so when we did the first day of Amnesia, I did have, like, an episode-long pun story that I did uh, oh that God. was kind of woven throughout the episode. Uh, oh, he doesn't yeah, like which, uh, you know, I, I'd like to apologize for not having woven an elaborate pun throughout this episode. Or did I? God damn it. A man must I... have a code. I don't get it. Somebody will. It's bullshit. He didn't actually do it. This is all just a a, a, a wrap up 
post facto, post credit scene. Just trying to take credit for something that didn't happen. Where you're at. Like, they could just tell it... you, it, like, if you're paying attention, they could just tell you the monster is scary and you'll buy it. Like, the bigger the lie is, the more you'll believe. So, it's not scary. The bigger the lie. The more they believe. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I feel like I, we're. I remember something. I, I feel like Unreas is strictly suit and tie, motherfucker. First the bunk is strictly a suit and tie, motherfucker. Uh, Harvey Clement, <laughs> humble motherfucker, humble motherfucker with a had. big ass noisemaker. The bunk. Is, the bunk. Don't give a fuck. It's not your turn. to give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, the murdering you part. That's 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 realistic. Murder, murder stay, stay murder. You're, 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 you're zooming in a little too much here. You need soft eyes if you're gonna try to find something. Fun. Soft eyes, grasshopper. There's not going to be an elaborate, torturous <laughs> pun this episode.